Hey there fellow web enthusiasts, welcome back to UI Expert. It's always a delight to have you here as we journey together through the fascinating sphere of web design. As your dedicated companion on this quest, I am thrilled to be your guide, your mentor, your navigator in the ever-evolving and dynamic world of web design. Our topic for today is one holds immense importance in the landscape of contemporary web creation, responsive web design. This concept, while it may sound technical, is the cornerstone to building and maintaining websites that are not just visually appealing, but also highly functional and user-friendly across platforms. Responsive web design. It's a term that has become increasingly essential in a world where people access the internet on a multitude of devices. From high-resolution computer monitors to compact smartphones, from shiny tablets to sleek smartwatches, the variety of screens we interact with daily is vast. Therefore, it's absolutely crucial for modern websites to adapt to these different devices, ensuring an optimum viewing and interaction experience for every user. That's where responsive web design comes into play. It offers a solution to this fragmentation by ensuring that websites automatically adjust their layouts based on the user's screen size and orientation. This not only improves the user experience, also enhances the overall efficiency and appeal of the websites. So, whether you're a seasoned web developer or just starting your journey in this field, understanding and mastering responsive web design is key to making successful websites. Stick around and let's make your websites truly shine! So what exactly is responsive web design? To put it simply, it's the art of website creation done meticulously with a particular emphasis on versatility and adaptability. In broader terms, it involves crafting websites with fluid layouts that cater to a diverse of screen sizes, browser capabilities and devices. In the fast-paced digital era we are living in, technology is constantly evolving. Everyday new devices and screen sizes are launched and having a website that can adapt to these changes is crucial. But how does it work, you may ask? Responsive web design is based on a grid system. Websites are built using a series of rows and columns, which allow for flexibility when it comes to adjusting the website's layout according to the user's screen size. Images and other media elements are made fluid, meaning they are able to resize to other elements. This fluidity is key to the adaptability of responsive web design, ensuring that no matter what device or screen size the user is on, the website's quality and functionality remain intact. Responsive web design also involves thoughtful planning and implementation of user interface elements. This includes navigation menus, buttons, forms, and other interactive elements. The goal here is to ensure that these elements are easily accessible and functional on any device whether it's a desktop, a tablet, or a smartphone. No more pinching and zooming, your site will look stunning on everything from a desktop to a smartphone. The viewport meta tag is your best friend in responsive design. This shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone who has spent even a short amount of time in the demanding and ever-evolving field of digital design. Responsive design itself is a ubiquitous term in today's digital landscape. A necessary approach to design that ensures websites and applications are fluid and flexible across a diverse range of devices. From the smallest smartphone to the largest desktop monitor, responsive design guarantees that no user is left out of the experience. But how do we make a design responsive? This is where our trusty friend, the viewport meta tag comes in. The viewport meta tag is a simple line of code that can be included in the head of your HTML document. It sounds straightforward, and in many ways, it is. However, the impact of this small component is significant. By setting the viewport's width to the device's width, the viewport meta tag ensures that the layout of your site adjusts according to the device's screen. This is the crux of responsive design, allowing your site to mold to the specific needs of each user, regardless of the device they are using to access your site. Without the viewport meta tag, our efforts towards creating a responsive design might be futile. We might end up with a rigid design that looks fine on one device but breaks on another. As designers and developers, we have a responsibility to create universal digital experiences. The viewport meta tag is an indispensable tool in achieving this goal, a small yet powerful aid in the challenging endeavor of responsive design. Include this little gem in the head of your HTML to ensure your website adjusts to the device's screen width. Say goodbye to fixed-width layouts. 
In today's digital era, it's time to leave behind restrictive design structures and embrace a new, more dynamic way of planning and constructing your website. Enter flexible grid systems with CSS Grid or Flexbox. These are not just ordinary design tools or frameworks. They are the future of web design and development. With CSS Grid and Flexbox, you aren't just adapting your content. You are taking the reins, shaping your website structure in a way that is the epitome of flexibility and control. But what makes these systems so revolutionary? One word, adaptiveness. They allow your content to adapt not just to different screen sizes, but also to various user preferences and browsing habits. This adaptiveness is not a mere cosmetic change. It's a transformative shift in how we approach design. Think of it as a chameleon, adjusting and morphing according to its environment. Similarly, CSS Grid and Flexbox ensure your website's design elements adapt fluidly, providing a responsive layout that makes your content shine on any device, anytime. Moreover, with these flexible grid systems, your website isn't just looking good, it's also functioning better. They enhance usability, improving your site's navigation and making it user-friendly. They also streamline your website's structure, making the design process more efficient while offering a boost to the performance of your site. In embracing these grid systems, you are essentially enhancing your user's interaction with your website, providing a consistent, enjoyable experience, an experience that resonates with the user, an experience that leaves a lasting impression. So say goodbye to fixed width layouts and embrace flexible grid systems with CSS Grid or Flexbox. This is your opportunity to usher in a new era of web design, an era defined by adaptability and user-centered design. These allow your content to adapt gracefully, providing a consistent and enjoyable experience for users. Media queries are your secret weapon. They are an innovative way of tailoring the viewing experience across multiple platforms. What do they do, you ask? Well, they essentially allow you to format your web content to be adaptable and responsive to varying device characteristics. In the world of web development, ensuring the optimal viewing experience for every user is paramount. This leads us to the concept of breakpoints, which play an integral role in responsive design. Breakpoints are certain thresholds or points in your CSS coding, where the layout and content of your web page respond to specific conditions. Now you must be wondering what role does a breakpoint play? It's pretty simple. These breakpoints allow you to apply different styles to your web page based on the device's characteristics. For example, imagine a user is visiting your website from a desktop with a widescreen monitor. The design and layout of your site will be totally different from what a user visiting from a smartphone will see. This is all thanks to the magic of breakpoints and media queries. These breakpoints and media queries work dynamically to ensure that your site adjusts its layout, images, typography and other elements in response to the size of the viewing device. Whether it's a large desktop monitor, a mid-sized laptop, a tablet or a pocket-sized smartphone, every single device displays your site in a way that's visually appeasing to the viewer. The power of CSS combined with media queries creates a user-friendly, flexible and responsive web design for your site. This ensures your site looks fantastic whether it's viewed on a massive desktop monitor or a pocket-sized smartphone. Always test your designs across multiple devices. Emulators and browser developer tools are handy, but nothing beats real-world testing on different devices to ensure a flawless user experience. And there you have it, a practical guide to responsive web design. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more web design tips and tricks. Let me know in the comments your favorite aspect of responsive design or any questions you might have. Until next time, happy coding! Before we wrap up, there's one last crucial element that we need to talk about. Images. Yes, you heard it right. Optimizing your images is a key component of responsive web design. Why you ask? Well, large, poorly optimized images can significantly slow down your site, leading to a poor user experience. Remember, a crucial part of responsive design is ensuring that your site works well and loads quickly across a variety of devices and networks. So, how do you go about optimizing your images? It's quite simple. Make sure to use appropriate file formats like JPG for photographs and PNG for graphics. You should also resize your images based on the screen size they will be viewed on rather than loading a large image and scaling it down. Lastly, consider using tools like ImageOptim or TinyPeng to compress your images without losing quality. 
This can significantly reduce the size of your images and speed up your site. Remember, a well-optimized image not only enhances user experience but also improves site loading times. So don't overlook this vital aspect of responsive web design. With that said, it's time to put what you've learned into practice. Happy coding!